Good morning everybody who's ready for a kick ass day. Sorry, I was vlogging and then I saw the kitchen in the background and <laughs> There's no hiding it. I didn't vlog for two days. Uh, yesterday because I just couldn't be bothered and the day before because I don't think I did anything, I can't remember. But today is Wednesday the 28th of July I think and I'm gonna go for my run. I slept in, I didn't meditate, I don't care. And I'm gonna go for my run and then afterwards I might go to the gym but then I've got uni and then I'm gonna go see Tia and then there was something else I wanted to do. There's actually a new gym somewhere so I might go to that one after uni. I don't know, we'll see. It's also a fasting day so I'm feeling good so far. <laughs> We're about 10 hours in. You know, it'll probably be 12 hours now, at least. My tummy feels really uncomfy, and I'm, yeah. I'm actually not mad about yesterday, but I did go fucking overboard. Like, just kept going. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to take my pre-workout and go for my run. And then when I come back, uh, we'll get ready for uni, and I'll probably pack gym stuff. Because I want to go to the gym. Oh, also yesterday, that's, so I felt bad that I didn't vlog yesterday because I felt really good after the CrossFit thing that I do because I did Devil's Clean and Press, which is so fucking cool. I love them. Everyone was complaining about them. I was like, okay, hot take. Sorry about it. I love them. I love them so much. They're so fun. But then again, like I'm a person who really enjoys exercise. And when I look at myself compared to others, I have to acknowledge that not everyone has that same extreme enjoyment of torture. So what else did we do? Oh, my bench. I got to 25 for I think one or two reps of five. Yeah, I did two reps of two sets of 20, two sets of five reps at 25 kilos. I'll just insert a picture of what we did and then <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was a good workout and I enjoyed it thoroughly. But right this second, I gotta go run. I'm very purposefully filming this way uh, while I walk that way because I do not want you to see my kitchen. It's a bit embarrassing and I'm not normally one for like embarrassment and shame around these things. Like I want to be totally shameless and just show you what it looks like so that you know that this is what it's really like living with an eating disorder. But I won't until I'm about to clean it. So I'm now getting my keys so that I can go for my run because I have taken my pre-workout and brushed my teeth and I have to go kind of quickish because I do also kind of want to go to uni. Well, I kind of need to, I've got a class at one. <laughs> Oh my god, I went for my run, I felt amazing, and then I cleaned my kitchen! I mean, not entirely, this section has to be dealt with, but I cleaned it mostly, and I even sprayed with a little bit of Ajax. I remember when I first moved out into my own apartment, that was like the thing that I was like, every time I use the kitchen, I'm gonna clean up afterwards, and it kept me really intact, like in... It, it kept me really strict, I guess. I don't know. I have not been like that for a good few years now. <laughs> so, yeah, look. I mean, I'm not claiming to be good, but I'm very proud of myself for cleaning at least this portion of the bench now. Oh, that was another thing that I wanted to say. Um, I went for my run and I always like smile and say good morning to people because I always go in the morning or I say like how are you or something because that brings me joy, right? I just like doing it and sometimes I get like a smile and a hello back and it's really nice. And there was one guy and I didn't realize I had already said good morning to him. Like I, I, I was running past him and I smiled and then I caught up with him again at another section of the place where I'm running. I think I was walking and I said good morning and he stopped me and he goes, you've got a beautiful smile. You smiled at me earlier when you were running past. And I was like, oh, it was just the sweetest thing. It was so nice of him and he smiled and he, you know, he complimented my smile and I don't know. It was just really nice and it made me feel really good. And yeah, anyway, that just, I'm a sweet old guy. And I was like, you have a good day. And I don't know, it's just nice. I don't know. I think this is my way of saying that a little bit of kindness goes a long way. And if you can, if you want to, spread a little kindness today. And now I'm going to pack my bag. I'm going to have some more supplements. And I'm going to go to uni. Then I'm going to go see Tia after uni. And then I'm going to go to the gym. I have not gone to the gym yet, but I will at some stage. <laughs> Also, I thought I'd share, oh, I'm wearing a mask, so I don't know if you can hear me properly, but I thought I'd share this app that I use. It's called Wellatory. I've only got the free version, but it gives you, like, this is the walk that I, or the run that I just did. So it gives you the heart rate in terms of the ranges. So it tells you, like, light, fat burn, cardio, and peak. It also does sleep as well. <laughs> that was last night's sleep. I did actually sleep in a little bit, but that's weird. Like, that 
slope. This was yesterday's CrossFit. Yeah, so it gives you the day's heart rate. See that sleep? That was fucked. That was some bad sleep. You know when I say that I have bad sleep? That was another cross training, I think, yeah. Walking, that was on a treadmill. Uh, it gives you, yeah, like how good it expects you to feel. So it uses AI to take the heart rate for the day and the night, the quality of your sleep, and also um, your heart rate variability from your watch. If you've got an Apple Watch, which of course I do. Uh, oh, 10, 10. That's the way they always sell watches. Yeah, and it tells you like how good you feel, should feel. So yesterday, yeah, this is true. See, look, my stress yesterday, my productivity, my energy was all pretty shit because it got my sleep. Yeah, that was the sleep where it was like, dit, dit. that one. Yeah, and then, did, yeah, I felt like shit yesterday and I've slept in today, so. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that in case you guys wanted an app that kind of gives you this. I would pay for it, but I don't love it. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. Shit like this always scares me. I've experienced too many bushfires, but it's back burning. <laughs> okay, so I finished uni and then I saw Tia and I had coffee and then I came charging in here to go to the gym. Then it turns out they don't have like self-locking lockers, so you have to get a padlock. And then I went to the nearest shop, they didn't have big pad well they didn't have little padlocks, and I was like, well that's not gonna work. So then I went to the shop. Anyway, point is, went and got a padlock, came all the way back. Their padlocks are a really weird size. And then I was so tired that my workout kind of sucked. But none of my stuff got stolen, so that's kinda nice. And actually, to be honest with you, no one else had padlocks the right size either. So it really wasn't that big of a deal because everyone kind of knew their stuff was unlocked, so no one was going to steal it. Anyway, now I'm going home. I'm so tired. It's a shit gym. <laughs> I'm like properly exhausted, which is good because it might mean that I sleep properly tonight and I would like to sleep properly tonight so that I don't sleep in tomorrow because tomorrow I have CrossFit. And that was the other thing I was going to say, is that I've got my CrossFit class tomorrow and I break my fast at the same time, well, my fast will have hit 36 hours by the time I'm going into my CrossFit class and I'm thinking I don't want to eat beforehand, I don't want to eat beforehand, so I'm going to break it afterwards, which is going to mean that it's going to be probably 36 plus 2, 38, maybe 40 hours. 40 hours of fasting sounds pretty good. I'm so fucking tired, <laughs> so tired. But now I'm going to watch Emily D. Baker because I know that she was live at 2 a.m. this morning with a Britney update. So I'm gonna watch that because that is a good way for me to wind down and hopefully go to sleep properly. Uh, even though realistically in an hour there we go. in an hour I should be doing my bedtime routine Fuck, I am so tired oh my god not just like tired but I feel there's okay so I'm not telling anyone to do fasting and if anything what I'm about to say should uh, deter anyone from doing it but when you do longer fasts not like super long, like I'm only really at 24 hours now, almost. You get um, motion blur. <laughs> so like you move your head and it's kind of like, you, you, you just get motion blur. I don't know if that's just me. Uh, it's not pleasant if I'm honest. So like I said, that should deter people more than it should encourage anyone. Like I shouldn't need to say, don't do this. Um, sorry, I'm just getting my mood lighting on point and now I'm gonna put the camera down because it's so heavy Okay, I'm not gonna say that I'm the worst But I will say I'm not that good. It is now 10 p.m. And I'm only just getting ready to go to bed now, but I'm all caught up on the um, Things I'm so tired. Look if I had just gone straight to bed when I got home. I might have been able to fall asleep then I felt like I could have, but also I know that I can't trust myself to sleep on days like today. So anyway, all that to say, I should be going to sleep because I've got CrossFit light tomorrow. And I don't know if I'm gonna eat before I go or in the after, but we'll see. Uh, and you will be right there with me figuring out what I decide to do. So yeah, 
I hope you're having an amazing day or morning or evening or whatever time of day it is for you. And you'll see me tomorrow when we find out whether I survive this fast, which is really not that long. So, anyway, good night.